Hey, Adam here, founder and developer of Paid Members App for Stripe. We're a Stripe verified partner, and I'll link to our partner page in the notes below the video. We're a no-code subscription app that works on almost any website builder that allows you to connect your existing website to everything Stripe. This video is on no-code Stripe alternative payment methods with delayed payment notifications using Paid Members App. So for Stripe, you need to either be a developer or hire a developer or use Stripe payment links. But as of the date of this video, Stripe payment links do not support alternative payment methods. So that's why we developed it for you to make it fast and easy to put a Stripe checkout button on your website with alternative payment methods. And if you happen to be a developer, you might want to use this video to follow along with the flow of dealing with delayed payment notifications. So what do I mean by delayed payment notifications? So if you log into your Stripe account, I'm in an example account right here and click on settings and under the payments section, click on payment methods. You'll see all sorts of payment methods, depending on what the country is, they might, the country that you're in, you might see different payment methods. I'm gonna flip on test mode to be in test mode originally. So they have everything from Alipay to WeChat Pay, and you'll see some of these include a little notification that say webhooks recommended. That just means that you need to have a server listening for a notification for when the payment actually goes through. Because unlike a credit card where you know instantly that the card went through and the payment went through or perhaps it was declined, there's a delay on that uh, with these special payment methods. Sofort is one of them. It's a delayed notification system. Now you might think that buy now pay later methods like Afterpay Klarma would have this notification for webhooks recommended, but the, these services actually pay you uh, instantly and then they do the collections on their own. And that's why you get paid a little bit less because they take their fee because they deal with the collections. But these do not uh, require delayed notification. Uh, one that does is SEPA, and I'm gonna use SEPA in this example. It's a European uh, payment method, and that's what I'll do in this video, but it'll be the same flow for anything that you that is a delayed payment notification. Some aren't listed here like OXO uh, that are specific to a country like that one's only in Mexico. Okay, so I have a demo website here with a bunch of payment buttons. We made all these payment buttons in the app. You can easily make payment buttons and embed them on your website. You can do a style button that looks like all the other buttons on your website, and you can do subscription buttons or one-time payment buttons, and you can definitely use Stripe's out-of-the-box unstyled buttons as well. Down here on the bottom of this website, I have an alternative payment method with a delayed notification, and I'm gonna use SEPA as an example. So your customers click that button, your customer is directed to a Stripe checkout session. So I'm gonna put in a test email and I'm gonna choose SEPA direct debit. You're gonna to have to put in a bank account number. So just Google Stripe and whatever payment method that you're trying to use. So I Googled Stripe, SEPA direct debit, and I see a link here to some documentation and Stripe will give you all the information you need to process a test payment. Here's a test account number. So I'm just gonna copy that and go into my form and paste that in and then provide the rest of the information on this customer. So normally when the customer clicks pay, the payment is confirmed and then they're redirected and they can like log in and create an account and access whatever online course or information that you have. Use Stripe customer portal to manage their account. They can view or upgrade or downgrade or cancel their account. So I'm gonna click pay and instead, because it's a delayed payment, we're gonna redirect to a thank you page. So this is just a page you create on your website and it's a hidden page, which means there's just no link to it in the navigation bar. So you should say something like, thanks for signing up. As soon as your payment is confirmed, we'll send you an email. Let me show you an example of the kind of email your customer will receive. So here is an example of the email. This would be in their email inbox. And it would just say you've been invited to this website, but you can customize the text of this email however you want. You can also connect a SendGrid account. Um, at the free level, you can just verify your domain and instead of the email coming from no reply paid members app, you can send it from your domain admin at your website.com or your no reply at your website.com. You can also customize the subject. And then we give you a magic link that's included in that email when your customer clicks there. Then they'll be direct redirected to your website. So instead of just being redirected immediately and seeing a sign up form, they come from that email and they're redirected here. And let me show you what happens when they fill this out. Okay, so once they've created a password and they click continue, then they're shown in my account form. If you have something like an online course, you can give them access to different pages or groups of your groups of pages of your website. And we also have various forms that let your customers manage their own account. 
And you can even use Stripe's customer portal. When your customers click that, if you set up Stripe customer portal, your customers are actually redirected to Stripe and can manage their own account, adding and updating payment methods and downloading the receipts and canceling if you allow that. You get to define what is in the Stripe customer portal. So how do you set this up in Paid Members app? First, go to My Account, and then you'll see a section called Stripe Alternative Payment Methods. We have all sorts of payment methods, from Afterpay and Alipay to WeChat Pay, and I've just turned on SEPA Direct Debit just by checking that box. If you want things like customer portal, just tell us that you have Stripe billing if you have it in customer portal, and that will instantly turn that on on your forms. And then just go into setup checklist, payment buttons. You're going to want to click on connect to Stripe and connect a Stripe account. And then you just choose a one time payment or a subscription. So let me go to subscription. And I've created a checkout button that I've saved. This is a subscription box euro. So let's look at that. And what you're going to want to do is this section says custom page after payment success redirect to a custom URL after purchase so what you're going to do is just find your thank you page and take that and paste it in there and check the box to send an email invitation to the member so you're going to want to make sure that you get the URL right of your thank you page so click this verify URL and make sure a page pops up you definitely don't want to direct your customers to a dead page just click update button and then we give you some code that you can embed into your website that in that creates the payment button and as soon as you publish your website you'll see a payment button just like this one and that will take your customers to the payment page with the delayed payment provider of your choice. And that video showed you how to make a Stripe checkout button with an alternative payment method with a delayed payment notification.